on the wire. Confidence rises and vacancies decline. Bank aims to destroy brokers and auction action up again. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth. Welcome to The Wire where you can get all the top stories happening from the week in real estate from Thursday the 21st of February. Now of course we love to see your interaction with these videos so please comment, question, like and love and all we ask for sharing this valuable information with you is you share it with your friends and family on your social media channels. So let's get into the top stories happening this week. So consumer confidence rises. So consumer sentiment has improved with economists attributing to the rebound to the change in views with regards to interest rates. Now most people now expect that interest rates will remain on hold all will fall. Now this comes from the widely watched monthly Westpac Melbourne Institute survey which showed a 4.3% increase in confidence which raises it back to the level of 103.8 which uh, is a, a rise in February after it had dipped in January. Now Westpac senior economist Matthew Hassan says that improved, the improved mood is largely due to a shift in stance on interest rates by the Reserve Bank. So less than 43% of Australians now believe that interest rates will rise and over the next year, and that's down from about half in August. Hassan also says there's no sign so far in the Westpac survey that price declines in both the Sydney and the Melbourne market are actually causing any form of alarm. Confidence continues to bear up well, he says, uh, and the continued house price correction concentrated in Sydney and Melbourne is impacting consumer expectations for prices, but so far appears to be having only limited spillover effects on wider confidence. Uh, now, national vacancy rates have also continued to decline. So the national vacancy rate has now dropped to 2.2% in January, which was uh, a reduction from 2.5% in December, and that comes from an SQM research survey. So four of eight capital cities now have vacancy rates of under 2%. So the total number of vacancies in Australia, uh, in Australia has now dropped by $10,000 compared to what, uh, sorry, 10,000 houses compared to what was available in December. Now all capital cities, except Hobart, experienced a decline in their vacancy rates in January. Um, now despite uh, Hobart's rate actually mildly increased, it still remains the lowest of all capital cities at only a 0.5% vacancy rate. Uh, Melbourne currently sits at 1.9% and Brisbane's rate has dropped from 3.6 to 2.7 in the past year while Perth has reduced from 4.4% from a year ago where it was at 3, uh, 3% uh, sorry 4.5% a year ago to now currently being at 3%. Um, we, they also expect to see another decline in vacancies in February and that comes from SQM's Louis Christopher. So now Bank aims to destroy brokers. So this is a claim that's come from one of the largest mortgage broking groups, saying that Commonwealth Bank has a concerted strategy to destroy the banking industry. So this is coming from a company called Finshaw, which has a network of over 1,500 loan writers and, and is among brokers who oppone, oppose Haynes Royal Commission's call for commission payments to be scrapped. So Finshaw Managing Director John Kalenda claims that CBA and its Chief Executive Officer Matt Komen has an agenda, had an agenda at the Royal Commission. He really was out to destroy the mortgage broker market, Kalenda says. It's a well thought out strategic attempt to eradicate brokers. Now why would they want to do that? It's well and truly proven that broker, brokers have increased competition and overall reduced interest rates uh, in terms of loans for consumers. So cheap brokers mean cheaper loans. Okay. Um, Bendigo and Adelaide Bank are other lenders that have been vocal in the support of banning broker commissions. So banks like Adelaide Bank and Bendigo Bank, they're smaller banks. Without the brokers, they're going to get nowhere, much, uh, nowhere as much of the market share. Um, while ANZ and Macquarie have cautioned that a flat fee model might have unintended consequences. Now, the industry is lobbying the federal government and the opposition to open consultations on Commissioner Kenneth Haynes' recommendations. God knows how the commissioner came out with, after all of that stuff and all the crooked stuff that the banks have been up to, that what I should do is essentially eradicate brokers and make the banks get an even larger share of the market and allow their interest rates to move up. Um, uh, so Treasurer, uh, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg has also accused Labor of not understanding the issues and says that the government is opting for a cautious approach to, uh, to the recommendations on broker pay, where largely we've heard absolutely nothing from the Labor Party. Now, also I want to report that auction action uh, is up again. So we talked in last week about how the uh, clearance rate in auctions had, had uh, been the highest that we've seen for quite a while. It happened again. Capital city auction markets are strengthening. 
with week-on-week -week increases in auction values and Sydney recording its first clearance rate above 60% since last July. There were 521 auctions in Sydney last weekend with results showing a 61 preliminary clearance rate, which is a big improvement on the 54% clearance rate from the 322 auctions the previous week. So REA Group Chief Economist Nerida Conisby said we're starting to see more positive signs in Sydney. The market is holding up much better than we thought. Typically, mar markets are much slower to gain momentum at the start of the year, and this time last year, Sydney's market was a lot weaker. So this result is highly unusual, particularly given the negativity we're hearing about in the market commentary. So keep in mind, guys, you've got to stay away from all the clickbait, you know, doom and gloom stories out there. The reality is, is that while we're seeing a price collection where essentially the Sydney and Melbourne markets are supported by strong economies and low unemployment. Now, Melbourne also continued to be the busiest city market last week with 657 auctions and a clearance rate of 54%, which was up from 350 auctions the previous week when a rate of 52% was posted. So guys, that pretty much covers the top story for the week in real estate. Now, like I said, don't forget, please comment, question, like, love. We love to see your interaction on these videos. And of course, once again, all that I ask is that you share this with your friends and family on the social media channels. Uh, and of course, guys, the very last thing you've got to remember is what's the only thing in life in, in life that makes a difference? Of course, it's action. So you want to get your, your money sorted out, get stuck into it. All right, guys, have a great week. I'll talk to you in my next video over the coming days.